Hi, in this video, we're gonna talk about product inventory program or how to make a product inventory program using C programming language. So, this is the following choices one is to input new product record, two is to edit a product, three is to delete a product, five is to display all existing product, number five is to make a purchase, number six is to display the product record with the highest sale, and seven is to display their all record with zero quantity or zero left in the storage, and eight to exit the program. So, let's try the number one. So we're gonna input new product record. So number one. So let's see. Um, let's make a number one. Bring the number one. So product name is make Kit Kat. Product quantity. How many want to input? Star seven. Price of the product is ten pesos. And discount is two. So it means. So let's gonna show this number one. So we're gonna choose the number four. Display all existing product. So number four. So it's all existing product yet because we get, we just input the only one product so let's our goal is let's treat let's try to make a four um for storage so let's say input number again so let's be two product name product name is ice so let's i know lunch is jelly quantity is then correct ice of the product four let's say discount five up to let's say one let's put it again three let's say the one Oh my god, so I input a one name, so let's again edit later. So let's try this edit function. It's eight, um, it's a product three, it's gone to four. Okay, there's the name one. We're gonna edit that later. So put one here. I input one, but the program rejected it because there's an existing pro pro um, ID yet. So we're gonna make it product number four. Product name, let's name product name um, generic beans. It is 8, price of product 6, that's 18 discount, 1%. So again, a 4 display existing program. So this is all existing program. So we input 4 programs and this means stored. So let's try again the another function, the edit product. So number 2, which is choice number 2. So here we're gonna, our goal is to edit the number 1. So we're gonna product ID, you enter the ID, you want to work. So if you want to edit the KitKat, so one, two for jelly, three for this number one name, so four for the green. So we're gonna edit the one, so three, we're gonna input the three product ID, so number three. So this is the following updations. So product ID number, want to edit the name, the quantity price, so our goal is to edit the name, so this, so we're gonna choose number two. So let's be the number one, is the one. so let's make this number one to carrots. Carrot, so here. Record updated, so let's see if the, it's been true for this existing product. So you can see the number three product ID has been updated to carrot, the name carrot, so it means the program run well. So again, let's try number five to make a purchase. So we're gonna add sales now. Product ID, so want to buy, so let's gonna buy the number two, so jelly. So the jelly has been found, so how many quantities? So quantity is 10, so we're gonna buy the half, five. Let's see number four again to make display our existing product to see there's a half, something happening. Yeah, there's something happening here. Quantity is five now because we we bought five, so it means minus quantity. So product sold five, so she will give out five, and the sales forty. The sales has been calculated by using this, so we need a percent to the discount. So two divide divide by one hundred first times the price. So price is four jelly for the jelly, and times how many quantity? So we we, we bought five. So four, so zero four, zero point four or zero, or zero point forty pesos. So again, so there's a it's a, so let's try the number six. Display the product with the highest sale. So let's see. So the product um saw so the jelly because it, it, it just been we just bought some um, only the jelly. So it's been the highest sale here. So you can see this is the jelly is the highest sale here. here. So in number seven to display all product with zero quantity. So let's it means in track number seven, there's no product in zero quantity because there's no zero quantity yet in here. So we're gonna buy some things to make all the quantity of the one product. So so let's so we can test the number seven. So let's make make a purchase number one, KitKat. So there's so only seven. So KitKat one ten So we're gonna buy seven. So four again. So there's no quantity left now. So that's day number seven. So the program saw the kit cut because there's no quantity left or zero quantity. So they're gonna display all the product with zero quantity. So here let's say again, so five. So you can display back ID two. So we're gonna five the jelly five. So there's two now. So display all so all. So 
the program display the jelly and the product ID number one so the jelly and the KitKat so program see hi here's gonna here's I did my program first I some some includes the IO strings the internet input outputs the live for the one of this sideline for the some string length defined for the boolean so zero if true one is false so I make the structures and this is the following um to want to in uh want to field so this is a field man so car id car name product name product so you can see quantity num store full price in discount cloud sales as you saw lately so this is a struct struct prod prod so this is the this is the array so this is a maximum array element so 30 this count is this is the count is the purpose is the if we can determine if the product first product second product or the count if the products we input is first second third part and file f for the file writer or file pointer so int write file so write function and here I, I in this method so we're gonna write if you want input here you can see file writer in file so so i did a but i now is w a from open so w is to write so f open so i gonna open the inventory program let's see in here this this program in the c inventory so we make right so we're gonna write in there inside you can see i'm gonna open this there's a name here we're gonna write here so let's see let's see again so if now we turn minus one so it means it have minus one or one so you have an error if there's nothing inside so this is the for loop so how many change so this is here if puts we're gonna put all the sale of all the records in the file so if closed gonna close the file it's gonna you're gonna write all the details in the function in the tax files here is a loop for how as this is gonna execute we're gonna when we make a we're gonna save some records in the text file so read file is the read file is if we want to read as you something the file in that file the text with this in here inventory the text so this we're gonna execute it Executed. so inventory r is to read f open to open is r is n so if nothing happens so it's gonna return one so if if i scan f to scan all all the product in there and gonna loop also we're gonna get all the all the existing uh, records in the file so close so here is the main in this main is you can, as you can see you already saw this the choices main i make do for the infinite loop so one so one to add product so let's say case one for add product so hi this a add product i made the add product so this i product or i prod so first you're gonna eat read the file first if they're gonna see some contents here the product so if count is greater than zero so if there's already count there so you're gonna check the id so if you can see lately the if id number one has been used so it's gonna make again because we can make two to id do id number together so here it's gonna execute if if the count is less than zero or nothing product yet inside in the file so here the text you get so we're gonna make to match so uh, more than one character so product id so this num one id so not names against but um more than characters so it gets it's kind of f because this is this um d for because in f because it's a float in the structure and d because an int is count so count plus count count so here you're gonna use you can see so the first so we can determine the what is the first record so this is the first record plus plus count so this is the first record you're gonna execute here and we're gonna write it in the file so we're gonna call the write file function again let's see again number two is the edit product you can see case two edit product so you're gonna search search edit prod okay edit edit prod so backward edit prod edit edit prod search in forward so this is the edit product so editing the product function so car id so i did uh, i did a car id because you want to enter the new id so you can you can compare the both you want to enter and the id that has been saved in the file so you're gonna compare those things and uh, the two character ids that you want to search and the id that has been recently saved in the file so, so if the test if the test we find found so if calls test 
check ID. So the check ID is and in there. We can you're gonna check if the ID has been found or not. So here, else read file. So you're gonna read file. If the ID is not found, you're gonna block. Or else if the ID has been found, so you're gonna read the file. This is the for loop. I'm gonna happen if we're gonna search this. We're gonna edit this. So here, if the concern compare is not equal to zero, so it's not empty. So write file. So here. You're gonna update these things, so you're just gonna choose here. So first, switch choice. If one, so enter new ID. So if you can see, and product name ID. So we're gonna change the the name of the given ID. Two is the name. The given. You're gonna change the name of the given ID. Three a quantity or how many? You can just you can use this if you want to store again many uh, many uh, quantities of the following product. Four is the new price. If you want to reprice the things, five is the discount of the product. I want to change the product if not in the selection so you guys is gonna display invalid selection break is gonna stop the loop and this is the right file you're gonna write the file again you're gonna write the changes and gonna close it and this read read file write again and F close you're gonna close and the record has been updated so let's see number three as you can see delete prod so we're gonna delete prod search again So for the prod, there's no yeah, it, it is delete prod. Okay. Delete product. So here delete product. Okay, wait. I'm gonna search the delete product here. Edit prod, add prod, purchase prod, write file, add prod, edit product. Check ID. Okay, display product in main. Oh my God, where is the year? Purchase product display highest sale zero quantity. So purchase. So here's just delete product. So functions delete a product. So quant read file. So we're gonna read file again. Priority because we're gonna. So this this is just does like the add product or the edit product thing. So we just compare. So given ideas, I'm gonna compare. The ideas may recently be saved in the file. So this is of two loops. So because we're gonna first look if the true, if not, if there's the brilliant is true, Z is true because the Z is false. If this if true, this is gonna execute it. Match the data, the for it will it will erase the selected data, count minus one. So the the following first product we're gonna minus one, so we're gonna delete. So product equals J plus one. So the that product has been has been deleted in the file and we and the uh, and that line has been uh, has been null become null and erased in that file in the count minus minus so it means uh, it's been it means the count will be decreased or minus one if false product can't be found so write file and again a write file to we're gonna write the null or the missing so it means the product has been deleted and changed to zero or the or the the space has been deleted so a uh, number four is the Purchase uh, number five uh, four is the display product. So let's see display product. Okay, you can you can see the display product. See display product here. Delete product here. Purchase product. Display ISA zero quantity. Add product. Edit checker. Edit product. So here the display product. As you can see. Count read file, so you're gonna read file of how many products inside the file. Count is, is count less than zero, count of the file because there is no product yet. And this is the product we're gonna execute. There's many, so here you execute it. So, for so you can I use loop so I can see product I have if the first loop here until here. So, you're gonna print all the existing in the file using the for loop, they're gonna get it. All existing product in the for loop in the file. So see prod i name. So it means zero first name until until how many count, how many product has been added. So this is the for display product. Number five is to purchase product. You can see the purchase product. So here is the purchase product method or function in quant for if you want how many quantity if you want to buy. So I I made so we need to make 
in your quant and i for the loop for id again so for the search and the boolean and count so we just want to read first the file and so here product id so we're gonna use the chi id so new id so you can compare the your id you want to the edit and the id has been recently saved in the file so this is the for loop if the if we found it if the id and the prod id in the file has been recently are matched it's true and again and this we're gonna execute it so item found containing a name name price so how many pi so this is the quant we're gonna use the quant quant it's so just gonna check if the quant or if the the user's quantity is greater than the product quantity or must or it means if the if the file quantity of the product is uh, uh, is less than of the quantity so we're just gonna display a sufficient a sufficient quantity or please restock so else is gonna execute it if the if the quantity is less than the product quantity so there's we have an enough quantity so the product so users can can sell so user can buy so here float time sales so equals equals sales so lump sold so we can how many quantity so it means as we saw lately so we there's lump sold when you bought five so the lump sold been added five so quantity so minus so the quantity has been minus so how much if the user want to buy so the quantity of the product has been minus in it in the sales is here and execute quantity how much so this will execute first because in the parenthesis here let's count divided by 100 times the price of the product times the quantity how much wins and the temp sales plus temp sales and, and the temp sales here how many sales and been sold and else if not found you cut the final product and we need, we need to write the file and the sixth is the display the main is the sixth is display higher sale six display higher sale here you can display higher sale and high so we're gonna make some comparison of the both things so h and high zero high so it means zero so first number or first item sold here so count if the prod i as you see i is greater than high so high is the zero so first is the first num sold so here for the i is the first num sold you're gonna pass the higher variable if they mean anything is the highest sold product the product the highest product is they're they gonna display the highest product because if if um, they here if this if this statement this if the i product i is, is greater than high of, of the first product so so this is a searching part if you're gonna search if the first product is higher than that product so it means you're gonna that product is gonna pass the high so it means the for loop we're gonna if this if product is equals equals to high so here if the num sold doesn't pass the high variable so we're gonna display the high and this is the following product we use for loop because if there's sometimes there's a two we got we have two products with high sales so that that files or the two files we're gonna execute the display so here using just using the display product so again the last thing is the zero quantity so let's see the zero quantity here if we display the zero quantity here there's you just like comparison if there's a free product equals, equals to zero if that this that product is equals to zero and that means be printed out it's like the this higher display or the display thing and that's all we think in our file i think that's all the following things that you want to know as you can see here write file read file display zero quant display highest sale purchase product delete product everything id checker your product Switch for that thing, write file, edit check, display product, the display main, and this is the main product. You're gonna execute when there is no file located, and this is just the things, display product, quantity, and this is case zero to exit. And this is the break, this break things if, if you want the choice, nothing there. We in this is while loop, so if you're gonna enter some, it's not, it's not close to eight, so we're gonna exit, and you know, the loop will be infinite. And when you enter the 8, and the program will stop. Let's see. Let's see if we're gonna enter. If we enter numbers not equals to 8. For example, here, we're not saying equals to 8. So the program will not stop. So 0. So if you want to enter the 8, the program. That's all for the video, guys. So I hope you learned something. And I hope this can help you. 
and about if you have something about activities about a mentor program and thank you for listening